Right. Um, once again, we are here at uh, Banjul KG5 Ministry. We have uh, Boa and we have Sadibu Amakamaso. Uh, we we have been here for almost um, four days uh, for scouting players. Uh, Boa, how do you feel um, for these five days um, in the Gambia scouting players? First of all, I'm very really appreciate to Mr. Kamaso. Yeah. He welcomes us very, very well. Our club is very satisfied with the organization, everything. He takes care of us very well. He shows us the Gambia as well. We like the city, we like the people here. We are very happy to be there. And I know we will come here. Every year. Yeah, we, we almost have almost um, 12 teams. Uh, today we have almost uh, four teams. Uh, you, you're making your final um, selection. Um, hope, hope everything will be perfect with you people. Yeah, yeah, we, there are some players that are really interesting. And now we will decide about them and we will get in touch with Mr. Salubra about them and we will speak about our next move with him. Yeah, um, those players that have been selected, um, what is their fit right now? So Are you going to publish them or you have to go back then yeah, we will go communicate back. with Saribu about it, yeah, the names we, that you have already scouted? We will go back, we will, we will live in the clubs and we will call Mr. Saribu and we say to him, can you bring this player, this player, so he will do his job. Well, yeah, perhaps yeah, we all know that you have been working with Emma Fandabachi and here is Salibu Kamaso, uh, someone that is well known in the Gambia and also an administrative also sport. Know, uh, what is, what is going to be your uh, relationship with Salibu when it's come to a um, scouting place in the Gambia here? Yeah. I said um, here you are with Salibu Kamaso yes. and you are also the agent of uh, Fandabachi. Uh, are we seeing you continue working with Salibu uh, to develop more talents and take them to Fandabachi? He's very professional and really be able, affected about his organization. So we will keep going, working with him. And he is our guy in Gambia, so we can tell him definitely. We will do every step with him. So are we seeing you uh, in the Gambia every season or every yeah, six we, months? Yeah, we try to come in every year once. And also, um, what is your reaction when it comes to um, the talents that you have just won here? Uh, how do you feel and what is your advice? I want to advise them that to just focus on football, 7 to 24, live and dream about it. And if they, with the talent, it will come back to them. It's not a just one day job, it's a like long time work. And players must focus on football and they have to try every day better and better. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Kamaso, uh, here you are um, with your guys. We have been here for almost five, five days uh, to scout talents. Um, we all know that we have agents from Turkey and also from Italy. Uh, how satisfied are you today, Mr. Kamaso? Uh, amazing. I mean, you know, in knowing Fanabache and Bora are very professional and they're a big club, so definitely satisfying a big club takes a lot of work. And I'm glad that they are satisfied with what we have done. We had to put in a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of homework to make sure everything goes on well. Because, I mean, Fanabache is Fanabache, it's a big team. You know, convincing them alone to come here is something that is really, you know, not very easy. So, them coming here and seeing the talent that we have, you know, really sits well with me and my team, the rest of the team that came, all of you that came to help us get this thing done. So it's been amazing. I feel relieved today. I can go home and sleep. That you know, Bora says everything went because Bora always wants top. He always wants things to go well, and I'm sure because since he came, he's been making sure that things done professionally. He always wants things done on time, and I'm happy that we were able to satisfy. Him. Hey, how do you feel to be their partner? Um, you will be working here in the Gambia uh, to, to, to to scouting players uh, for them back in Turkey. It's amazing. I mean, like I said, it's fun about it. You don't just start working with a club like that. So to be associated with them is you know, something that is really amazing. And for us, the priority is how do we help these kids to go out and start playing professionally. We've seen what has happened in the AFCON. So if they're happy working with us, we are equally happy. And then we we'll make sure we try to keep better, getting better. By the time they come every year, we're able to satisfy them more and more and more so they can take more. Kids. Yeah, this was part of your agenda when you were um, aspiring for the GF election. Uh, you once said that you will def definitely develop football and be a sport player outside of football. Here we are. Um, why have you been published this since before the election? Um, I just don't want people thinking I'm doing this for publicity uh, because like I always say, the idea is to have more kids go. It wasn't easy convincing Fanabachi because you cannot just get them to come down. But if they get to the point where they feel they can come, 
we should be able to do a lot more and we are not stopping here and they have been this happy that to say that I'm going to be their partner I'll ensure a lot of scouts don't get the best kids so that by the time they come they're able to take them so the, a promise is a debt and we said we want to see more kids develop and more talents develop so we never know what we can get from this so I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep doing the best I can to ensure yeah we also have a Turkish um, school here and also we're hoping to see Gambian players you know um, going to that Turkish schools land before uh, passing through Turkey Everything is possible, you never know. We are just starting the relationship, but everything you know is possible. What? They're going to go home and they'll we write down. Don't know there is a Turkish school. Yeah. They didn't we even know. We search yeah. about it and we will try to be a French school or part of the school. We will search about it. We does not know there is a Turkish school. Actually. So they're going to work on a lot of things. As I said, they've just been here and they'll take all these details and they'll go back. Hopefully, we're able to get something really big out of this. Finally, what's your final message to the Gambian people? Um, let us put all hands on deck to ensure that these kids play. I mean, it is the kids that will benefit and then we benefit later. Because the more kids that we have that go professional, it helps the country, it helps us all. The other thing that I want to tell the kids is when you're giving an opportunity to come for scouting, make sure you're there on time, the approach, the body language, and everything has to be done properly. And we should look at the interests of the kids. I don't think anybody should be selfish enough to be able to prevent any kids from coming or stopping them from coming. I'm not the one who's going to be signed. It is the kids that are going to be signed. They're the ones that are going to turn professional, not me. So it's a matter of us putting our hands together and see to it that we bring in as many people as possible to see that these kids go out. Thank you, Mr. Kamal. Thank you.